My name's Lisa and I'm course manager for the level three programmes at Croft End in conjunction with Receive College. Uh, this is Carver, my own horse, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a basic back massage that you could use to warm the horse's back muscles up before you ride them or work them from the ground. I am a qualified equine sports massage therapist and I hope that the moves that I show you today will help you to work with your own horses. So we're going to start off by using some palmer hand circles. So as the name suggests, using the palms of your hands and we're going to cover the full length of the horse's back. So we're working from behind the shoulders all the way back to the lumbar region. Okay, so you can see here that I'm just using circular motions and you can be guided by the horse as to how much pressure the horse would like. And you can see that Carver's starting to enjoy that up around the back of a scapular head. And then we're just going to effleurage that out. So now we're going to use some planing. So like planing a piece of wood, we're going to compress into the tissues. And for this, we can use the palm of your hand, but also the surface of your forearm as well. And if she's accepting of that, we can actually get both hands working. And it's a really good idea to press into the tissues, push it towards the pelvis and the back of the shoulder blade. So we're really trying to stretch and lengthen and warm up those muscle fibres before we have the horse to work his back. Now we're going to use some hacking. So we're going to try and keep our wrists and our elbows and our shoulders really nice and soft. And working a rhythmical beat. Again, working the full length of the horse's back. And we're looking for the muscles to be nice and soft and our hands just bounce back up off the tissues. And again, finishing that off with your effort large stroke. And now we're going to use some fibre friction. So using your finger pads, you can see I'm just going up and down, working from the top of the rib shelf, which is here, up towards the vertebrae. And if you're enjoying that, you can work with your two hands simultaneously. And then we'll arrange that out. And then we can do some cross fibre friction. So that's up and down and side to side. So we use the compression stroke there and pushing the tissues against the transverse processes of the vertebrae. And effleurage that out. So once we've warmed up the horse's back muscles, then we can finish off by doing a little belly lift. So what we're going to do, take our fingers First hand closest to the horse's head is going to go underneath. Okay, you're going to put that on the horse's sternum, just in the girth groove. And the second hand, I like to go to start off with just in the middle of the horse's back. The further back you go, the more reactive the horse is likely to be. So we'll just stay a little bit further forward. And I'm just going to put some upward pressure and a little tickle and encourage the horse then to lift up through her abdomen and lift her back up. That helps to engage the horse's abdominal muscles. I'm going to let that go back down. And it's the repetition of this that's going to be important. So like a human doing sit-ups, 
one sit up isn't going to help but if you do repetitions of them the same exercise that's how we build up the strength I'll just do one more to show you. Now today I've just shown you working obviously just on one side of the horse's body. If you were doing this prior to exercise, you would need to work on both sides, but you could just repeat the process on the other side. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you.